Hey folks, welcome back. This is Alon Paul one more time. So uh, we're going to pick right up where we left off with the last episode uh, of the Leviathan Expedition Redux. And uh, as you know, like I said, we're not going to be going by anything special in regards to um, uh, trying to complete out phases per episode. <clears throat> so what's next? So we have to break the loop. We've got to search for these patterns. And as we said, we're going to build that... Uh, that. Back to our multi-tool. Let me see if we have more room now. We're going to build our solar ray so we can collect items. And we haven't even left the system yet. We don't even have a hyperdrive yet, which we'll get as one of the things. So we need some magnetized ferrite. I'm trying to debate whether I'm going to buy some or if I'm just going to make some on my own. So maybe I'll just make some on my own. That would probably be easier. I just need to find a planet. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to find a planet that has... Oh, look at that. Uranium. Huh. Okay, hold on. Let's see what kind of planets we've got around here. I just want to get away from the space station a little bit. There's a planet behind this one, and I don't know what it is. Uh, there's a planet behind there. Phosphorus, cobalt, copper, sodium. Uh, let's... Let's pull you away. I don't want that guy near me. There we go. So we have a planet down here. There it is. Little guy. Gamma root, uranium. Oh, they have whispering eggs there? Huh. That might be worth my time. And it's not that far away. And it's a moon. Let's do that. Because I need the uranium. And... Yeah, this will be good. All right, I like that idea. All right, let's get back out to my usual view. A little faster to get down there. Now, I noticed I didn't think it said anything about aggressive sentinels. I didn't see anything about the sentinels. I should probably have paid attention to that. Looks like we've got some deposits over here, quite a bit right around this area. So we'll go ahead and land here. I don't know what our thrusters are like. I think it's been charging for quite a while now. Yep, back up to 100% without any... Intervention on my part. Um, we have to learn languages, uh, la uh, words in another language. So let me see if this will help me. The usual crap. You guys have seen this before. Accept the knowledge. So that might be one word. Okay, so there is a sentinel there. Okay, good. We're not aggressive. All right. Let's look for some uranium. Right there. So that's good. We definitely need it. Ooh, those are rideable creatures, too. The butterflies. So that's two. How many creatures we got here? Six? Ooh, we have a chance to get, like, about 750 or 800 nanites here or something. Yeah, if you feed these creatures, you can get them as companions. So that's actually pretty cool. All right. Well, I didn't see any water on this moon, so let's continue. Radiation's dropping. Uh, oh, there's one other biological entity. Like I said, you always need some more of this stuff. Get it. You're going to need it. Get the carbon while we're at it. Let it go down just a touch. If you do it just right, man, you can get the stuff real quick. And we need ferrite. We all have known that for a while now. What will probably happen is when I take up from the take off from the planet, I'm going to see if I can get some more of that ferrite. Uh, where's my uranium? There it is. All right, take a look around. Yeah, it's still falling. I know, I know. I don't see any other creatures floating around. That is really weird when they're landed and they got their tails up in the air like that. It's very strange. All right. Let's go, uranium. Terrain manipulator. There we go. So we want a few hundred of this, at least. Three, four hundred of it. So it's good that we found the uranium here. This is going to come in handy for later on when we're uh, wanting to get our landing 
apparatus going, so we don't have to keep making those stupid launch capsules or whatever those stupid things are. Launch fuel. This will do much, much more efficient. Yeah, 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 I know. I should be able to get the 250 or 300 by the time it runs out completely. But we got plenty of batteries. Plenty of batteries for recharging in the event that we uh, get to that point. Once you reach about 300, you just go to the wide mode. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use them both. I don't care. I'll make more batteries in a little bit once I get more ferrite. Oh, uh, of course it is. Okay, we're about 300. Widen out to medium, and let's clear out the rest of this. We probably could have got our solar gun going and, uh, you know, went ahead and did all that. But I'm going to try to find a cave here in just a minute, because as the storm kicks in, it's going to get nasty. There we go. Come on. Quicker, quicker, quicker. I think we got enough. Probably got about four or five hundred at this point. Hey, look. Is that a cave? Looks like it is. I'll take it. There we go. Alright, so this is a good time to go back to our mining beam and... How much ferrite do we have? 55. All right, how much do we need over here? We need 50 magnetized, so I need at least 100 ferrite. That's giving us carbon, that's okay. That's pure ferrite, carbon, salt. Yeah, we just need salt, right? More salt. Salt, I don't want salt. Let's go deeper into here real quick and just take a look. Sometimes you find a biosphere in here that's like the outside, and maybe we can find some rocks there. You can always use some more oxygen. So in this uh, particular run, you will not find oxygen very readily on uh, in, in trading areas, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, that looks like it might be an outdoor biome type area, but that's going to just have carbon, it looks like, yeah. Uh, let's see, any rocks? And lots of cobalt. Could get the dihydrogen, but not really into getting it right there. Let's check over here. Uh, quite a heck of a cave system, man. A lot of these guys, these uh, albumin pearls, they're worth quite a bit, but we're, we're, it takes up so much inventory when you're in permadeath mode, you can only carry three at a time. Ah, fair right. There we go. And no sentinels to bother me with gathering up this stuff. All right. Good deal. 24. We could use a little bit more. Uh, that's carbon. That's all right. We'll just grab it anyway. Ferret dust. Excellent. This will give us a good mount. All right, so we can get out of this place now, and it looks like we've got to get our life support up to snuff as well. Okay, good. Um, let's see. We need 100 of this. Come on. Let's get there. There we go. So I'll give us our pure ferrite. And obviously we always need more, so uh, we could use sodium. Let's go ahead and grab it. Ferrite dust. Okay, we always need more ferrite. Let's go ahead and grab it while we're here. Nothing there. Gold, huh? Eh, why not? Again, we can always use it. Uh, what do we got? That's ferret. 
Okay, so we're going to jump over there and make our magnetized. We're going to get that solar ray going. We're going to go ahead and complete that out. This part is a little bit boring, so I apologize. Uh, 53. That'll be a starting point. We'll use our ship to get more in a little bit. Uh, get you out of there. Move you over here. 30 seconds. And then we can get moving. I think there was another ferrite there. Okay. That's cobalt. Alright, well, we'll just grab it anyway. I'm going to make some more batteries here in a minute. Twenty to start. We used up some of our ferrite. Silicone. Multi tool. Sixty. Good, 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 good. That gets us out of our inventory. Five hundred. See? Four eighty two. That's not bad at all. Let's get rid of the salt. We don't need it. Uh gold. Uh, yeah, I'll hang on to it for now. Maybe I'll put it in my inventory and sell that off. But we do use some gold at some point. I don't remember. Let's multi-tool it, and you're up to snuff. Now we have sodium, right? Is that in my exosuit here? 297, yeah, it should be enough. Solar ray is ready to go. Let's get out of here. Now if I can remember how we got in here. Is it this way? That's going back the other way. Great. Don't remember where we parked the car. Kidding. Yeah. Ah, that must be it. There's our exit. Oh, nighttime. All right. Now we just need to find one more deposit of something close by. Where's our ship? Our ship should be... Over here. Okay, let's look for something in that general direction. 175. Salt would be good. Those two deposits are just about as close. Oh, it's right there. It's right by our ship. That's awesome. Okay. Keep this small. So you can get as much liquid sun as possible. Now, the thing about the liquid sun beam, the uh, solar ray, is it will not pick up silicon. So, you can go to your heart's content at this. You just want to keep it small so you can get as much resources as possible. You're looking for five rounds of 250, if you will. So, 1,250 is what we're looking for. That'll get us to the achievement we're looking for, the milestone. It'll complete the milestone we're looking for. So this is definitely worth it. You would have to do this here or elsewhere, but you notice it's chewing through the charge real fast. You get about 200 out of one charge. That's not what I was trying to do. Okay, so almost 200. I hit the scan button, so this stupid grid work is going to remain in place until such time as we're completed here. Sorry. Annoying to look at. Very annoying. We'll have to watch the radiation protection and not be uh, distracted by all this. Hopefully it'll disappear here in a couple more moments. I can barely see what I'm doing. Ah, oh, thank God. Don't hit that button again. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and charge. Just use the sodium like it gave you. It gave you all that sodium for a reason. Use it. That's what it's there for. That's all right. I'm watching it. So this is kind of a boring part. I know uh, gathering resources is a grind, but it gives you a rough idea of how you're going to have to go through this as well. And like I said, get it early on. You're in the main system. You can't leave without getting it anyway, so you might as well do it. 
it's going to get you where you need to go. It's going to get you what you need in order to follow through on this uh, to get your hyperdrive. There we go. Shield is up. Okay. Let's go find another deposit. Uh, six, two twenty-nine, eight, nine. Let's go for the that. On the other side of our ship. Okay, good. We're getting some nice uh, juice out of the uh, jetpack now. Doesn't charge as much as I would like. Oh, right here. Yeah, got to off a little bit here. There we go. Okay. So how many? How much do we have so far? We've got five hundred. We need three stacks. We have enough room for the three stacks. Okay. Okay. So this was a good planet to land on, I think, to do all this. Love to have the protection, as far as the shield is concerned, to be able to get... Uh, to stay a little bit longer on here, but you know, honestly, those shields, as great as they are, especially when you come across a storm, um, it's just not worth spending the nanites on it, to be honest. Uh, you're going to have so much more to spend them on, so. You know, the funny thing is, is you're given a freighter as well, and I don't think on the last run through I ever even touched my freighter. Except to bring it in as a courtesy at the end, just to see, you know, oh, is that the freighter I've got? No, oh, that's great. Never even did anything with it. There wasn't anything to do. I probably could have stored stuff for free on my freighter if I wanted to keep it, but, you know, really, I don't know what the purpose would have been. If you had something to do, and I seem to recall on the last time we went through this back in, what was it, May, when they had this particular expedition, that we... I uh, had to do something with the freighter, and I don't remember what. Okay, we're going to need more sodium here in order to get this done. Alright, how much do we have? We don't even have a second full stack. So we'll need some sodium. Now let's go ahead and hit that good old C button. Looks like there's some sodium right over there. Let's go ahead and head over there and get it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. There's no reason, reason to keep you folks uh, uh, with me at the moment. I'm just going to use that because I'm going to use a battery. Well, okay. And I'll go ahead and gather all this stuff up, and then we'll come back. See you in a few minutes. Okay, and we're back. Okay, so we, uh, we did a good run here. I put everything in my starship at the moment. So you'll see I have a 1,000 liquid sun plus an extra 383. I need 1250. So that gives me a little over 100 left, which is excellent. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Also found a good uh, supply of uranium. So we are excellent in regards to mm, this uh, Starship launch fuel. So I'm going to use that stuff up like you wouldn't believe. Uh, plenty of carbon, of course. Um, we even have some of the sodium, extra sodium in there. So that's good. So, hey, all in all, I think we're in good shape. Uh, let's go ahead and get off this rock. Now, what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to do a little uh, raising with my ship to pick up a little bit of uh, rocks and stuff like that, like right there. That gave me carbon and not what I was looking for. Because, you know, God, God forbid we should get what we need. Um, rocks. There we go. Ferrite dust. Well, that didn't give me a whole lot either. Yeah, more carbon. I know this plant. This planet has a lot more in the way of ferrite. Right. 
Salt. Yeah, that's what I need. Tons and tons of salt. Uh, slow this sucker down. Just make sure we don't shoot those missiles too close to our ship. here real quick. I just want a few hundred. Let's see what we got. Nice. I think we got I think we're good. I think we're good. So, yeah, 649. Nice. Let's get rid of the salt. I mean, it's kind of worth something. I'll probably sell it off. That's probably be what I do. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright. So we're in good shape. Let's go ahead to the anomaly. What are we... About 20 minutes into this. Let's head to the anomaly. We're going to go ahead and... Call that in here. It's probably close by anyway, but I don't care. We don't need to hit the space station anymore. We want to deliver the, as it says, the liquid sun to the anomaly to Polo. Again, I have multiplayer turned off. I recommend doing so. It's nice to see the other players, don't get me wrong, and I love seeing their communication capsules and stuff like that, but much easier on your computer and everything like that with regards, with regards to if you can do this without. Plus, it takes the cheating element out of it. Last thing you need to do is come to the anomaly here to do some stuff, and um, a player gives you a fusion igniter worth, you know, 15 million, and you just get this huge boost to it all. And it's just not, I don't know, I think... I don't think it's in the spirit of the expedition. So, there we just got the first one, and he's going to give us a memory fragment every single time. You see, we get that particular one, but if we get it four more times, deliver material, we'll get more. Uh, like I was saying, it's, um, I don't think it's in the spirit of the expedition to do so. And everybody wonders why you have to start a new game. Again, it's the spirit of the expedition. You're trying to achieve a difficult mission while... I think that's it, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check my inventory. Uh, leaves us with 133. Yeah, we don't want to turn any more in. So that's good. We're going to keep that. Um, the uranium is being used as a tool. So we're going to put that up here. I put all my tools up here for the ship, except for batteries. Batteries I'll put somewhere else. Uh, this is... I'm holding on to for my character I'm put that on my guy there we're gonna sell this hold on we're gonna keep that here for use hold on for the character copper we're gonna probably turn into something later on and we're gonna sell this okay good back over here so what did we get we're gonna hang on to this because I, it's good for charging up one of our uh, shields once we get it, if we get it. It's actually going to charge up this shield later on. So, what do we get? Two, three, four, and five. So we got a hyperdrive module. That means we should have a hyperdrive kit in here someplace. Interesting. Radiation deflector. You know what? Let's go ahead and take it. What's this one? Shield module for my exosuit. Uh, running out of room over here. Let's move you guys out. And we're going to switch everything around over here, make room for all the lovely stuff. No. Put you up here. You go there. Put you there. Okay, good. Really? No, huh? Okay, well, whatever. Uh, mining laser. Very nice. Yeah, we could use that. Put you over here. Uh, what's this? Auto recharge unit. That's for my ship. Wow, S-Class. Alright, we'll have to move you instead. Okay, for now. I'll put them over there when I get done. Uh, what's this one? Hyperdrive module. 
So that's going to give us something. Um, yeah, we're running out of room. Something serious over here. It's going to be nice to get this all taken care of. Uh, let's see. We don't have to have these next to each other. Oh, that I'm going to put back. Yeah. See? See what a mess this is? I really wish we could upgrade the ship. I can't move him yet because I don't have antimatter. Which, to do that, I think I need condensed carbon, which I don't have at the moment. I knew I should have grabbed some. Okay, we'll move that stuff around later. Okay, so we got some nice upgrades out of it. Plus, I got some other rewards I should be able to get, right? Yep, there it is, iteration 5. Which we wouldn't have completed, you know? Give us activated emerald. It's not really useful to us. Um, you're not going to use it for anything. So it's more for money's sake. You could put it in your refiner if you want. Uh, what do we get? Exosuit upgrades. I'd love to upgrade my main inventory here, but we desperately need technology upgrades. Ah, good. We've got a supercharged one. Let's put it over here and over here. Oh, one more. Good. Oh, another supercharged spot. Awesome. Let's go ahead and leave it there. Okay, good. And what's the other one? One, two. Now it's all complete up here in this area. I put more in, but I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and get uh, some more slots in our cargo. Excellent. So again, like I said, we can actually turn this into money, or use it for money, 67,000 units we'll get for it, which we're, we're doing pretty good units-wise, so I think we need to use this later. I'll decide what I want to do with it later. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my starship for now and figure out what I want to do with it later. Okay, good, good. So that comes in handy. Let's let's utilize these supercharged spots. Um, yeah, what will that give you? 202. Let's go ahead and do it. I think that's a good idea. And life support is always one of those ones that goes down quick. So let's go ahead and do that and put you there. All right, good. That looks pretty good. Anything in the starship? No, we desperately need room, but we'll worry about it later. Okay, what's our next uh, next run here? We're still in number one. We got a new reward. I haven't gotten this one yet. That's right. Warp cells. Excellent. Okay, so this is going to appear over here. I'm going to put that in my inventory. What's this? Starship weapon. Okay, so this is the hyperdrive. Yeah. I really want to keep that there. Alright, we're going to have to suffer here for a little bit. Uh, oh, the agony, the agony, the agony. I'm going to move that down there. Here's our hyperdrive we're going to put here. We're going to go ahead and put you guys here. And... That's a weapon. What is it giving us? Phase beam. Okay, we can sell that. Eight phase beams are about useless. Okay, so what kind of nonsense do we need over here? Okay, why don't we do this? Let's move you over here. Put you up here. Okay. Move you over here. Okay. All right, we're in good shape now. Let's put you back here. And actually, we'll put you up here and move you over here. We have to. We'll switch these around. You know what? I think I'm going to do it now. That way, if we have to upgrade that later on. Put you over here, here, here. Okay, good. That way, if we get another upgrade for the hyperdrive, we can just stick it right there. And hopefully, we'll get more slots in here. Wow, what a mess. I know, this is kind of boring watching all this, but hey, you know, it is what it is. 
We got this emergency signal scanner. I don't know why, honestly. Oh, you know what? We do have to actually find a ship later. Okay, we'll hang on to that. Yeah. Okay, I think we're done. What's next on our agenda? We're going to reach the first anchor point. Let's go ahead and get going. We Now that we have the ability to do so... Um, what's the other thing? Oh, yeah, well, we already did that. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump overboard. Whee! And head for our ship. On to the next point. I know this took about 10 minutes in there, but I think we're in better shape than when we started. We do need some condensed carbon. We'll get that on whatever planet's next. So I can get that thing, that teleporter receiver going. And out we go. Goodbye, system. And again, we've got plenty of resources on board. We're in better shape than my last episode. That's right. It's a galaxy map. Ugh, it's got to do this. Let it go. Get a drink. As Jason's channel does, hydration is important. So we're not heading for the Atlas Station. Notice it changed that. So we're going to hit the right or left arrow buttons until we get back to Expedition Route. And let's go to our next spot. Uh, where in the heck are we going here? Here we go. All right, nice little system. Looks like a five-planet system. A little pause there for, what, station identification or whatever. Wow, it's 10 degrees outside. Awesome. Finally hit double digits. We hit a negative 7 degree temperature here in Lexington. So, that was quite something. Yeah, I guess I just let that out of the bag where I'm about some at, so. Nice little town, though. Nice little town. If you like that uh, country feel and city atmosphere at the same time, you get both. Plus a nice college atmosphere as well. Alright. First thing I always like to do, let's hit the space station just so we can get our exosuit upgrade. We do have one, or one thing we can sell as far as for nanites, so we'll get that just in case we need them. Love, love the new graphics, I keep saying that. They really did a great job with these, these slight upgrades here and there. What will our next update be? Maybe not a big one, but if they do a smaller update, I wonder if they're going to do an update to the anomaly, possibly the space stations. Everybody in the community has been clamoring for a long time in regards to wanting to be able to do more customization in regards to ships and stuff like that. Uh, not up here. we got plenty of room up there. Let's continue on with our cargo. Okay. And hey, buddy, I have something to sell you. I want to sell you an extended warranty on your vehicle. Bye. Do we have anything we can buy? Nothing at all. Yeah. Nothing really uh, jumps out at me. Yeah, can always use some more navigation data. Or some nanites. Just curious what he has. Is anything worthwhile? We've got a hyperdrive C module. <coughs> Excuse me. Photon cannon for 4,000. B class for 1,800. We're not quite there, that's for sure. Okay. And do we even want to. Oh, that's a pretty neat looking one, huh? Blue and yellow. Mm, not interested, though. It's probably a ridiculous price, anyway. And what do you have in regards to upgrades for the Spining Beam Pulse Spitter? Love Pulse Spitters. But I happen to have the... Uh, scatter Blaster, and all you got is a C upgrade for that. So I guess we'll just live with what we've got. Okay. Um, I don't think we need any resources. We probably have something we can sell. Uh, great. It's one of these places. Get the nanites. We'll get about 60 or 70 of those. Uh, no, you got nothing I need. Uh, let's see. Mm, no, not really. I do need to create some more projectile ammunition. We're going to need it. 
I'm kicking it around whether I'm going to keep it or not. You know what? I'm getting rid of you. You're just taking up space anyway. We need the pugnium. Let's hang on to it. Salt. Yep, we said we were going to get rid of it anyway. We don't need it. Okay. Whoops. Too far. Let's get a copper. Copper we don't need anymore. So, even though we, we wasted money on that, but no big deal. Okay. We're in good shape. Alright. We got rid of the some stuff that was just taking up space in our inventory. We didn't get a crap ton of uh, money for it, but no big deal. Let's move. Where'd you put my ship? There we are. Where'd we park? Indeed. Alright. On our way to the first rendezvous point. Uh, looks like it might have changed our... No, anchor point's there, so where is it? Oh, is that where the star is? Oh, duh. I'm not in the right planetary system yet. There it is. Now, we do need to get, like I said, that conflict scanner. It'd be easier to find. I know a lot of guys get the economy scanner and have to look for that itty-bitty itty little symbol that shows a pirate head on it. And it's such a pain in the butt to find it. I'm sure I ran across that last time I was doing this, and I was sitting there looking and looking and looking and looking. You saw, if you saw the videos, you know. Um, it took me forever to find a pirate system. So I'm going to go for the conflict scanner, which means I've got to get all the way to the end of a final battle with the Sentinels. So we'll be doing that on a planet of our choosing. So let's go ahead and head to this space station. We don't need anything. We're just going to jump in and take back off again immediately. We just want a, a point, if you will, point of reference, in case we ever have to come back to the system for some reason. Okay. And yeah, I don't want your Girl Scout cookies, so we're on our way. Boom. Okay, so we got a save beacon down there, but that's not where we're headed. Let's head over here to this planet out in the middle of nowhere. On our way. Wow, minute 17. Let's go ahead and recharge. Uh, that's strange. It's fully charged while you're telling me that. Hyperdrive, yeah, of course we don't have that. Pulse engine, let's go ahead and get you charged up, and we're going to use the tritium first. Okie dokie. And it looks like our landing gear was... Yep, fully charged. Hyperdrive does need charging, and I do understand that. We've taken two jumps so far, and it's kind of chewing it up. Um, we just need some condensed carbon, and we should be good to go. So we should be able to get that here. What else is on this planet? we got pyrite, we got copper, magnesium, ferrite, magnetized, pardon me, magnetized ferrite. Um, ancient bones, which are worth quite a bit if we want to go there. We've got plenty of money so far. We have over a million credits, I believe, right? Yeah, 1.2 mil. So I don't think we're going to need a whole lot. So I think we should just stick with what we've got. I'm not going to worry about getting any ancient bones at this time. Okay, so that being said, uh, what the heck, what's our object of interest? Nope. Goodbye, trader. And it looks like we're just aiming for the base now, on an angle. Nope, we're not. Good. A bunch of nip. Uh, it looks like magnetized ferrite as well. But, you know what? That's not where we need to be. Ooh, what's that? I don't know if it's over here or if it's over there on the left. Let's just see. It should be a portal. Nope, that's just a communication station. So I think it's this portal over, uh, these, this communication beacon over here, if I remember correctly. Yep, there it is. Ooh, yeah, it's one of those festering planet things. So now, if I remember correct, uh, well, thank you. If I remember correctly, there is, in the expedition, you have to create a base on one of these. Establish a base on an infested world. We have to specifically find a planet that says it's infested. If I'm not mistaken... Here, let's check, shall we? The planet we are on is this one. Let's see here. Infected. 
dust bowl. So this might be it. Okay, so we've reached that. Why don't we give it a shot? Ah, oh, the worms. So, something to watch, huh? I don't know where he disappeared to. Okay. Let's see if this will work. No, somebody else built a base here. Let me just check something real quick. Uh, okay, with an existing base. There it is. Okay. All right. So we'll worry about that later. Somebody didn't uh, didn't do it. All right. So we will land elsewhere real quick. But we have to do something here. So let's get back into our expedition. We got to get the reward because a new product formula comes to play. We need ancestral memories to make it and gold. Remember, we needed gold. Yeah, that's the reason why. We're short by 16 for the gold. Now we could find a cave, but you know what? We do have to take off again. So why don't we take off? We'll hit an asteroid field real fast. God, it's not real. Interesting. Now, if you say so, my friend. Uh, can I get on board my ship, please? Thank you. All right. So we're going to head up to the space. And we got that memory fragment we can do, too. But let's just see if we can find some asteroids. An asteroid field, maybe? And, okay. I figured so I'm getting a phone call. Right back, folks. So, if any of you decide to have kids... Um... The joys of parenthood. Dad, the fire alarm is going off in my adjacent apartment. I don't know what to do. Is it going off in your apartment building? No, it's not then why are you worried? Because it's loud and annoying. And do you want me to do what as your father? Can you make it stop? I don't know. Oh, look at that. It stopped. Thanks, Dad. i um, glad I could help. Yeah. And you all wonder why I play No Man's Sky. Anyway, so we're back to having some more fun. Um, right now, I'm just gathering up some tritium. Uh, I don't think I've gotten any gold. I've got a little gold. That's weird. How come I only have six gold? I didn't sell any gold. Pretty sure I don't have any gold on me. You all remember I had some gold. I had 24 gold on me. There it is. Okay. What's it doing in that inventory? Hey, while we're here. Cool. Oh, yeah. You know what we're going to do with this. Nope, get back up there. Get, get, don't. Okay, good. Thank heavens. All right. Needed that room, didn't we? Ah, more. More, more, more. I'll take more, I'll take more. Do we want to put more? Let's go for the inventory space. Let's clean that up. Do we get one more? One more? Yay! Oh, look at that. It's filling in all the gaps that was annoying the piss out of me. Okay, great. All right, moving on. 146. Ah, he's not really worth it. Okay, I need more gold. Okay. Good. More gold. I'd like to find an asteroid field, but unlike the last version, which you got... Asteroid field after asteroid field. I mean, you, you left the atmosphere and you were in an atmos asteroid field every single blessed time. Gold. This whole thing's gold. I'll take it. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh, I missed. I freaking missed. How do you miss? There's three feet in front of you. Sorry. Move on. Full credit. Oh, great. Yeah, just what I need. Are they actually scanning me? They found a wiring loom? What are they, knitters? Alright, whatever. Let's go ahead and fight them. Should only be one or two. How many do we have? They're not telling me. I'm getting somebody that's doing some nasty work on me. Where is this guy? Come on, man. Okay. Hmm. 
And he's going to do the same thing, isn't he? Oh, my God. I'm going to get Ajita. Just stand still so I can kill you. All right. What did I get out of that? You've got to be kidding me. What are the chances, man? All right, I'll take it. All right, so we need what to build it. Uh, we need, we got plenty of gold now. We have ancestral memories. Okay, so this is my starship inventory. We're going to go to the regular inventory over here, and I'm going to make some food. We'll need one more. Okay, and let's get some ammunition. There, 5,000 ought to do. Back to the planet. Uh, where are we here? Uh, let's see. Um, okay. A little dark down there. Didn't think we were that far out. Huh. What do you know? Okay. Wow, okay, that's crazy looking. Mountains with water. Hey, what are you? And where did it go? There was a communication beacon there, wasn't there? Uh... That's a base. Okay. Well, let's go a little, a little bit of ways, because I do want to create a base. And, uh, mind you, it's going to be a very, very temporary one, so... Let's go over here. This looks like a nice spot. None of them are nice spots, but this looks like a spot we can plant. Are there any creatures? I don't think there's any animals on this planet. Yeah, we can't discover him. Yeah, I don't think there's any animals on this planet. There might be some flying creatures, and that's about it. What does it say? Fauna. Hi. Okay, well, hi. But I don't think it's the kind of fauna that we can discover. Let's go ahead and place, plant the base down real quick. Get that done. Blah, blah, blah. Claim the base. Get the achievement. But we need animals. That's how we get ancestral memories. You feed the animals, you get their ancestral memories, and blah, 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 blah. Achievement? Achievement? Hello? Yoo-hoo! Oh, wait a minute. Five, five base building parts. Hold on. Uh, let's go with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Okay, so back to here, and then delete, 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 so we get our carbon back. Okay, and then we go to the base, and you delete base because we don't want base. Base gone. Bye, base. Okay, so we're done with that. Chunk. Let's get our achievement. Uh, Minotaur Geobay, memory fragments, repair kits. Yeah. Like I said, you don't need any of this at this point. That's great. Yep, I got it. I got it. We got it. So, I'll go ahead and stick this in the starship, but I don't need it. Uh, suppressant Toxin Suppressor. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that one. Uh, what's this one? Rocket Boots. Oh, God, I hated those. Yeah, they just sucked. What are you? Okay, we could sell all these. So we'll get a lot of nanites in this repair kit. Damage equipment to be quickly and efficiently restored to working order. We are definitely keeping that. I'm putting it on my starship. I got rid of them last time, and I regretted it greatly. Okay, so we do have to stop by the... Uh, uh, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. We could have sold them at the anomaly. If Ares would talk to us, but he won't talk to us. So we're going to have to go to the space station. Okay. So, what next? 
What next is, now I'm going to start getting text messages. Okay. We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protection falling, yada, yada. Take that. Okay. Animals. There's animals. There is animals. Well, I'll be darned. How many do we got? 13 on this planet? Well, I'd love to discover all of them. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Okay, so anybody got a plus, you talk to them, you discuss it with them, you harvest ancestral memories. Go to the next one. Harvest ancestral memories. You get a pretty decent amount for every single one. Hey, little guy, you are just as important. Big guy. Get you. Uh, there was one more in there, I think. No. I can't move. Uh, there we go. Alright, how many does that give us? 75. We need more. So what we do is... And then we go ahead and feed him one more time. If I can get the stupid thing. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of that. Harvest. 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 And where's that little one at? There it is. Climb over you. That's right. That should give us 150 then, right? 150 it is. So now we can make it. So we're going to make our dream. Oh, we can't make it yet. we got to get up to our ship. Oh, we need some condensed carbon. Do we not? Is there anyone around here? I don't think there are. Uh, I don't see any. Okay. Alright, let's put the refinery down. Want to make condensed carbon? I want to get some more condensed carbon. That looks good. Excellent. It could take us a minute, but we'll be in good shape. While we're waiting, how are we doing on inventory space? Doing okay. Let's put this in our starship. The O2 up there for now. It gives us four spots. So, you know what we saw while we were here? Yeah. We saw something kind of... Something that nobody usually likes to collect. And that's whispering eggs. I am going to recharge this. Oh, actually, with that. And what we're going to do is we're going to get whispering eggs. We on our... Mining beam? Yes, we are. Let's make room. There's an egg in there. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Hazardous flora is in the way. Beautiful. I think we did pretty good there. Don't really need this. Ah, there's the Whispering Egg. I see it now. How are we doing? I'm just going to get rid of the Pure Ferret. I don't really need it. Okay. Alright. yee -haw! Well, let's see. What do we have more? Oh, go figure. Sorry, buddy. They're little fast little suckers, aren't they? Okay, let's see. Where's the next one? Looks like this one right here. Oh, I got chipped. Okay, where's the next one? Hey, what do you know? Ah, stop it. I feel like... See, that's, that's where the ADHD starts kicking in, folks. 
you start finding stuff, and you're like, hey, I could use that. Hey, I could use that. You're running for your life. Hey, I could use that. Get over here. Got it. That's two. I need one more. One more. Oh, there's an egg over here. He's right there. It's not in there. Almost had me. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I'm looking at the radar. In case you're wondering why I'm running around aimlessly, it appears to be aimless. Is because I'm looking at the radar at the very, very top of the screen looking for eggs. That is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, wait, nope, that's uh, Sentinel. Which we'll get to you guys later. We should probably fight them at some point. I don't need a Sentinel place to shut down, do I? Yeah, I think... No, 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 I don't. Because I can get that achievement by fighting them all off, which I need anyway. I'm getting the condensed carbon because we're going to have to produce a lot of um, warp cores, things. Oh, come on. There's got to be one more egg around here someplace. There's one. Got it. All right, back to the ship. So I got that. So the next thing I want to do, after I get back to my ship, is gather up my resources anyway. See, that phosphorus came in handy, didn't it? It's big. How much size my inventory look? There we go. On the ship we go. So, let's create some antimatter. And that will get us our teleport receiver. And now we can move it. Get it the heck out of the way. Alright. What, what do you want? I thought I created that already. No, I didn't. And we're on to our next, next loop. Or two. It's behind us, directly. Now, if we find a nice building somewhere that we can camp out in, I'm all for it. 32 minutes away. I'm not going to let you sit here and watch me for 32 minutes. Looks like we're just about the end of this episode anyway. But I think we've got some good accomplishments going. So this will go just a few minutes past. We'll get to this end of this one. And let's get to our loop. Memory hotspot. Now the loop memories are always fallen travelers who give hints at what happened. Okay. And it's got to be in a mountainous terrain area, of course. So we'll get there. And if you watch the radar at the very, very top again, you're looking for the little icon, the little diamond-shaped icon that we're all familiar with in regards to No Man's Sky that indicates a fallen traveler. So watch carefully for it. If you happen to see it, say something. I'm kidding, because I can't hear you. This is a recorded message. Leave a message after the beep. I don't sense anything is nearby here. Let's go down the slope a little bit. I mean, we could just exit our ship and look around. But it's most of the time, the areas that you find this thing. I want to say it's at the top of the mountain. I seem to recall that that's where we've been putting. We, they, have been putting them. It's up here someplace. So, what I will probably do is land up here someplace. Wall of Flame! 
Let's park at the very, very top. Just because it sounds like fun. Come on, drop. Thank you. It's over there. So I think we just flew right over it. Hello? Okay. Good for you. Uh, of course, now my cat's going to take this time to interrupt. It's right over here. And good thing we have that heat protection that I told you we would need. Right there, and you can see it's right in my radar with the little icon. The good old No Man's Sky classic icon. Leviathan was nothing, looks like nothing I've ever seen. The organism I've shackled, hmm, shackled for a ship so vast as to blot out the sun. I wanted it. I deserve to certain that it is just for me, and this prize is mine. It resisted, would not wailed and wailed as the infernife carved into its meat its meat almost took me down with it perhaps perhaps sub protocol warning blah 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 life support low or low claim memory hey oh hello hi guys oh, wrong one. you stop already? Get off the screen. Alright. So I think we're done with those guys. They are just going to keep coming. So guess what? good part is, is in a hot storm like this, your jetpack is much more efficient. And we're done. Isn't that neat? Okay. Alright, so what do we got? We got some good stuff on us. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the space station and get rid of this. Uh, we don't have a lot of inventory space, but I think we can go ahead and get our rewards. So we got a new reward here. And guess what? Phase one is now complete. And we got chromatic metal out of it, so that's pretty cool. Hey, cut that out. Okay, and this, again, this is optional. So we've completed it. Done with that. We have one more reward to get. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Oh, I hate when it keeps doing And that's this one. When we collected the whispering eggs, we got a whispering omelet out of it. Isn't that sweet? No, not really. We'll sell that, don't worry. So, what we're going to do is, now that iteration one is done, we'll go to iteration two. We're going to get the second anchor point on my next video. Uh, let's see what kind of goodies we got real quick. So, here is the memory imprint. You can hang on to it. I, I usually did. It did take up some memory space, but you can hang on to it if you wish. Memory fragment. Oh, we got cold. We got cold protection as well. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. As you can hear, I'm getting a call in the background. So thank you folks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the flip.